Welcome back to the TV Podcast, your TV movie entertainment needs podcast. Uh, I am your host, James, and sitting across from me. Actually sitting across from me. IRL, as what you stated in your text, Colin. Cameron's losing his mind. He's got, and even to even double on it, Cameron revealed his haircut. It's short. I wore My man's going out in the week. world. <laughs> what was that? Last week, I hated my haircut so much, I wore a hat for the entire week. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, when I when I, I was look great. when I was starting to grow my hair out before I actually left for DCP, I didn't for from like December to June. I didn't get a haircut just to see how long you would grow. I hated it. Worst experience. I felt like I was sleeping on a bush, but I had to wear a hat, and it was kind of like that point where it was like coming out of the the hat from the sides. It was bad. I don't like it. But you look good with the long hair, but you look great with the short hair. Oh, stop it! Do you have an interview coming up or something? No, just he has a date going with me. Oh, you got a, You got a second date? I've had a second date. <laughs> Stop the press! <laughs> Forget the episode. Michael Bay. Michael, Michael Bay can be waiting. Go, go. What? This is now a podcast about my love life. <laughs> Absolutely. It's called no. Heartthrob with a question mark. Heartthrob. <laughs> no. I'm trying to find a pun with heartthrob camera. or heart attack. That's the. <laughs> that's the only. That's the new. That's what we're calling Tubi. It's another segment. It goes cinema showcase. Heartthrob heart attack. Uh, so, like we said, we're talking about Michael Bay's filmography. I'd say uh, there's, we can all, uh, between the three of us, agree that there is one movie we were all excited to watch. Yes, I'd say we we just start with that one, work our way down to the other ones. Um, I, I watched it a little so bit again this morning. I watched a little bit last night and this morning too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just to get a refresher, uh, one thing. So, like we said, we're doing this thing about the strikes, trying to keep up with the writing filmography and everything. And when I was getting ready for the Michael Bay episode, and I looked up his filmography, I want you guys to guess the number he has for his IMDb credited writing credits. So, did you guess the number here? Okay. So, Colin, what do you got? I'm I'm gonna go high sixty. I'm gonna go sixty. He's I think it's like sixty one movies. Okay. Three, three, one, and that's not a movie he directed. It's a music video from Colin <laughs> James, Keep On Loving Me Baby. So if you guys want to go listen to that song and watch that video, that's a Michael Bay music video. Have you watched it? Not at all. I didn't... How did someone write a music video? Well, no, he like, I think wrote... Did he write the song? No, he didn't write the song. I think he wrote like the stages of the video i don't even know uh, frankly i'm i'm jumping through who's to figure out how michael bay directed a music video i'm assuming without explosions lot, i think it's a lot like pixar where he had like storyboards and yeah, probably that's probably actually how they did it but yeah one writing credit when i found that out i i was tell i immediately texted you this is like maybe a week and a half ago do not look up his writing credits i need you guys to wait for this one because it's shock yeah. it's one and it's a music video that i'm none of us probably ever heard of because it, it's so weird because you watch all of his videos and you just see all of the Michael Bay DNA, even with like the bad jokes, like the horrible, like you, like the, the Michael Bay staple of jokes of like mild racism. Is that a staple? Yeah, that's a staple. Oh, you watch 100%. all of his Transformers. Oh, well, the oh. first Transformers literally opened oh. with, uh, I forget his name, Tyrese, but he was like, la, 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 speak English, speak English. You know, like that's literally oh, know, Ty- opening really? of Transformers. Oh, remember yeah, and the it's two all throughout, even Pain and Games. What was that? The two tiny racist Transformers. Oh, frankly, you know, Revenge of the Fallen is not a movie I, I uh, fancy myself watching. I really stop it at number one. I'm a little ashamed of my history with Transformers. No, I've seen them. Hold on. I've seen them all. I've seen them all at least twice, but I don't watch them that often. Uh, when I was little, like Transformers 2 was on on repeat and I loved the two. You say I have bad taste when I was young? Rider Strike over here. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> he, he only likes the second season of Heroes. <laughs> yeah. Every one that ends with an even number is his face. So it's two, four, and six. I watched yeah. Spider Man 3 on the plane. Oh, did you also finish Ninja Turtles? Did you? Actually, I, that's for an the second time. Spider Man 3 is an excellent plane movie. Oh, yeah. That's a perfect plane movie. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's delicious. Is it garbage. just me? It's delicious garbage. It's not even delicious yeah. garbage. No, it's delicious. Cameron, it's, it's delicious. delicious garbage. I don't think it's, it's fine. It's like when you're late at night on a road trip fine food it's fine dude. you're so fancy i just it's just 
dude, after after years of just torment with the you don't know, it just kind of like ruins it. But it, that's, that's a better torment. That's like that's like, Fortnite. Like, Fortnite ruined it. That's like the holidays where you listen to those Christmas songs mm. and then like you. You're in I like don't listen mood. to Christmas songs throughout December. I listen to it for one week in December and that's it because I can't stand it after that point. It's the last week of December. I can't stand it. I choose not to because I, I lose my mind. You must have had a blast started. with the Michael Bay filmography then because I had a great time. So I actually really did. So I'm like, Way to go, Colin. That's a good transition. So yeah, I want to go to something real quick. We are going to go through his filmography, but at the same time, I'm also going to be giving the like the writers for the movie we really want to talk about the most. Uh, but of course, we all know about uh, the Transformers movies that he did. He did that recent movie. Uh, what does it say? Like last year, Triple which was Frontier. Ambulance. No, Six Underground. Oh, so yeah. what? He directed Ambulance. He did do Ambulance. That's the not the one I was thinking. I think it was Six Underground. I forgot Ambulance came out. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah, Jake, Am- Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Yaya yeah, Abdul Mateen the second. Thank one. you. Uh, so then we was and that one. Isaac Gonzalez. Actually, I need to watch that movie. Really, Gonzalez? Really? Yeah, I didn't see movie. it. I didn't watch Ambulance uh, just because it didn't. It, it was. It looked like a GTA person heist. When it came the ambulance, out. who's driving the ambulance? Oh, that was her. I thought Jillian Hall was driving. It's like speed. Well, I thought she was the medic. Yeah. Oh, she okay. had the ambulance, and then. Oh, okay. Jill- no, no, no. It's coming back. Now. Okay. Come on, man. You got to remember the trailer. I frankly wasn't present for the trailers much either. <laughs> uh, but so his top four, he's made 61 director credits. He has that. I want you to see if you guys can also get his top four. I will say this. Two of them are Transformers movies, but they are not two. You think they are. Well, maybe you, but maybe you, maybe you will. I but go for the top four. I know. Just doesn't have to be in order, but I want you to go for the top four. Okay. Um, out of order. It, uh, it doesn't matter. The order. Age of Extinction and The Last Night. Um, That's two. Pain and Gain. Okay. Uh, uh, it's one you've seen, but I don't think you knew it was him. Really? Yeah. Cameron, help me out. Nope. No. 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 Don't you dare call on a lifeline, you poser. All right. Um, The Rock. Yes. Way to go. Okay. All right. So it was Age of Extinction, The Rock, uh, Pain and Gain. What was your what, uh, the, the last last night? What about you? What are we ranking? No, so it's 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 whatever his top four, Michael Bay's top four. So it, it's not a rank. It's what do you think the top four on his IMDb? Like his highest rated? Or his highest rated. Is. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's his top four. Like whenever you go on IMDb and they give the top four for either actor or director, Absolutely. what's that top four? doesn't matter the order. Just you get those top four. You can steal my answers, by the way. You don't have to be that. Different. Yeah, it doesn't have to be original. Transformers the first, Transformers. Okay, Transformers one. Um, Dark Side of the Moon. Okay. Dark of the Moon. Whatever. It's 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 <laughs> close to pink. Not pink. Pink Floyd. Pain and Gain. Okay. Bad Boys 2. Okay. So Colin is actually the closest. Dang. So it goes in... I actually wrote this in order just to see if you guys got it. It goes Armageddon, Transformers <sighs> Revenge... Yeah. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers Age of Extinction, and The Rock. Okay, so we got... <laughs> Cameron, <laughs> unfortunately, in Japan, I think it was Japan or China. Uh, uh, Age of Extinction was big. Yeah, it was huge. I wish I picked Armageddon as well. I I, I really just, didn't know. I didn't know it was Armageddon. I didn't know he did Armageddon. I forgot he did Armageddon. Honestly, it, it, it's also it's kind of hard to even remember Armageddon because there's also that other giant meteor movie. I yeah, Deep Impact. That's the one. Oh, I was gonna do Independence I, Day. My favorite thing. I don't know why. Alien dumbass. My favorite thing about Armageddon is that there's this story that Ben Affleck told. So, like, the whole premise of the movie is that they're teaching, uh, like these miners, yeah, like oil to miners, go up and drill into like the um the asteroid the size of Texas asteroid to like destroy it. Yeah, to place a bomb. And in ben it. Affleck was like to. To to Michael Bay, he was like, "Hey, I know you're training miners to be astronauts, but can't you just train astronauts to be miners? I feel like that would be easier." And then Michael Bay replied, "Like, shut up and say your lines." 
Michael, Michael Bay was got a on him. Mike, Michael Bay was notorious for that during on set, like you know, shooting with everybody. Like he he was. I I wouldn't say like he was like a complete asshole over the entire. I, I think he just was like so packed because he genuinely thinks that he's making good movies, yeah, and some of the directors are. do. Some of them are. All right, we can't we can't take that away from Michael Bay. Like the There's best one, we're stuff. gonna get to in a second. That's my Avengers Endgame, dude. <laughs> That's my Avengers Endgame. You know what it is. Oh my god. He had such a weird environment where, like, you know, he was basically a a very big kid, you know, and he's just it's hard. Yeah, to Michael Bay movies are what I saw in my head when I was playing with my toys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like that's that's exactly what I saw. Like he's the epitome director of smashing toys together and making a billion dollars. Yeah. So did what was the other guy you said when we were doing our Star Wars hot takes for a second that never went out because the audio got corrupted? You say it was smashing toys together? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It was Booga Boba Fett, I think. Time, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh. But yeah. It's exa- you're exactly right. And the movie we keep referencing that I really want to get to now is Pain and Gain, or what I put on a letterbox. The Dude, I wanted to work things. out. I wanted to work out into that movie. Yes. I believe in fitness. <laughs> My name is James, and I believe in podcasts. I wanted to start the episode off like that so badly, but I didn't feel like it would make sense, so I thought I'd get to it here. Are you but, a Jew? I can help you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. was the no, no. That was a direct. I know. It's, it's a direct. It's a rough. It's just that a, whole scene is insane. It's just, yeah, it's just a rough one to jump into because I was gonna go with the one that that I, my favorite quote was. I'm gonna say like Mark Wahlberg. Don't I bomb a kid? I've seen your mother dri- uh, driving up and down these streets looking at me. I'll be a stepfather in about a week. <laughs> That line made me lose my mind. <laughs> it's my favorite quote. It's so Honestly, good. That's my Avengers Assemble. Every line in this movie was just insane. <laughs> oh, it's such a... Okay. It, it, I'm going to read Cameron's reviews real quick. It's, it's hard texting this. No, just no in like like prompt. I didn't know that you were watching this. I didn't know you were watching this for the first time too. It goes, bro, I'm halfway through Pain and Gain. This might be the funniest movie ever. Just comically terrible people. I love it. And you go, this also might be The Rock's best performance. It is. It, is. it, it is. easily is. It's, it doesn't it take is. place in a jungle. It doesn't take place with him having to punch There's a lion no or something. Eyebrow. There's no eyebrow. This is when he's. It's so good. This is so he's good. So and I didn't. Funny. He's so funny. Yeah. I didn't realize this came out in 2013. No, yeah. He's 10 years old. Yeah. Give or take. But I I didn't think it was going to be that good. And it's so funny, though. Just on, like you said, on how bad these people are. But one thing yeah. that never failed to make me laugh was Rebel Wilson. She genuinely <laughs> shined so much in that movie. And with the Michael Bayisms, like, it just made it so oh, much better. It's so. And then I like when he's like, yeah, we got divorced last night. That son of a bitch stole that money or whatever. It's like, like she just went off on Anthony Mackie. And also, quick question that I was watched that I had during the second viewing, not so much the first viewing, is that why did Dwayne Johnson have a skateboard? We all know for <laughs> damn he would break it. We know for damn sure that that man would the minute he stepped on it would break. Like that's the behind the scenes footage that we got for our, uh, what's that one Ryan Reynolds movie that he did with Dwayne Johnson? Uh, Red Notice. Red Notice. He couldn't fit in the Lamborghini, so they had to upgrade it to like a Jeep because that man is massive. You remember the you remember Mark Wahlberg's like red car when he came up like uh, in the Scooby Doo seats? And did you, like did you notice like how the Rock was trying to fit in? Yeah, like, he, it was. So- I'm surprised the car wasn't tipping over. Dude, so I know for damn sure. And when, like when he did that little pop thing where he and catches it, that had to have been like the 80th try. There's no, there's no way he rode on in like in the that. Boy, if if I, I saw the rock on out. a skateboard, I would be horrified. <laughs> I, would, I would, I would be terrified. It'd have to be like like a like a skateboard material, like skateboard, a surfboard material with wheels, like Hummer no, wheels. Just like it had to be made of like steel or something. Like, like fiberglass dude yeah like like uh what, what's that like the hardest wood is it like bamboo it has to be made out of bamboo is it bamboo i think it's bamboo let me check that hold on i'll google it i have Let's to go take, on with the joke i have to take a lot of back uh, a lot back from michael bay watching his movies no do hold not on hold on movie. hold on they're terrible a lot of them are awful but you still laugh 
because it's that bad. Okay, just want to let you guys know. It's perfect. It's it's a bad, it's perfect it's, garbage. It's perfect garbage. It's genuinely like a good time. I, I want him to continue filming until he's seen. I want to get two pain to gain. I want to need. I need that. I need that. <laughs> two now. pain to gain. Like the like too fast, too fierce. But just want to let you guys know. Strongest wood would have never a didn't know it existed. B never would have guessed it if I knew it. Cameron, let's start with you. What do you think the strongest wood is? Because you said even though you said no, I already hit. Enter as as you said. Yes, I have right. to go next. Um, if yeah. I were to guess, it would probably be Australian bloke. Okay, Colin, Mike. My... Okay, <laughs> that's why. I Cameron, said, do not Google hardest wood. <laughs> yeah, well, I said strongest because I'm not a pervert. My but man. by the way, how the hell did you know that? Because I Google got glasses. <laughs> You know what he said? Because I Googled it. (laughs) You you actually Googled it? Dude. Yeah. I beat you to the punch. Hey, you. I'm okay. getting sweaty like Michael Bay characters. Yeah, I know. So I, 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 sweaty. I, I gotta probably turn on the fan in a second. But yeah. Okay. This movie, I think we all agree. Um amazing. Fantastic. I love it. I feel like this movie. I feel like it flew under a lot of people's radars as it progressively went on with time. You know, and it's also not the lowest rated Michael Bay movie. It's had a solid 50 on Rotten Tomatoes. What's the lowest? Um, Cameron, what's the lowest? Any of the Transformers after three. Really? Yeah. Let me, let me look it up. Yeah. I, th- well, I, th- I thought you were the savant of, of release days last, and IMDb ratings. I think the last night I mean, is that like IMDb a nine? Ratings. I can I can talk about... Oh, his, his lowest rated is... Uh, Ouija. What? He did Ouija? Wait, is that horror movie? With... That, no, the other Ouija. The, the, the manufacturing the, company. Believe it or not, there's a lot of horror movie titles with Ouija in it. I'm sorry. Oh, relax. Oh, wait, really... no, he didn't direct that. I don't know why Rodden Tomatoes. And he produced it because he produced quite a few horror movies. I know he did uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and, uh, I think he actually and directed uh, Texas that Chainsaw. I think he directed the, the, the Nightmare on Elm Street one. No, no, he, he produced it. it. He did? Yeah, he produced it. Well, either way, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a Transformers movie because a lot of those were not. Three of them are amazing for mm, so many different reasons I that are not amazing. good. Amazing. Oh, he also did a Lionel Richie collection video. Did you know that? No, I, 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 I didn't. Hello, know. look at that. Yeah. Is okay. he still alive? Last Richie? night. Yeah. Oh, that's the last night? The last not surprised that's the reason why i'm on this podcast boys 16 16 percent wow 43 from audience have you guys ever seen the last night no it's an it's an experience i've watched videos about it like reviews and like video essays and criticisms yeah yeah i have beautiful i never know more about that movie than i should uh, I never cared. I never it. cared to look at the the actual movie and watch it because the biggest thing is that like, hey, Optimus Prime, really, really cool. Where the hell were his wheels when he turned into that samurai version of him? Like they took out the realism. They did what they did with uh, uh, the yes, second Transformers, Transformers movie. realism. <laughs> I met with the <laughs> shut up. I met with the cars and the looks. I, I just don't. I don't like how they made it like. They made it so different than the last night. It was like, what? Mark Wahlberg's important? What? Mark Wahlberg? He's an inventor. He's an, He's a- an inventor. He's an inventor. <laughs> I'm an inventor. I'm an inventor like you. By the way, the line from not that movie, but the one before, where they're, it's when you first meet Mark Wahlberg's character. I think you know what I'm going to say. I think you know what I'm going to say. It's when the FBI or whoever goes into his, his house and they start looking at the things like, hey, you need a warrant. He goes, look at my face. That's my warrant. Shut up, dude! That movie is so insane. Shut up. Her like, oh my, the Romeo and Juliet laws, which was like bad because that's a little very gross, actually. I know, but can like, you imagine Cameron dating like someone with the Romeo and Juliet laws, and then on hand, on not that part, laminated card <laughs> in your wallet, Got and bragging it to the dad. How long do you have to have that card until you decide to laminate it? Uh, I think he got it immediately because there was some wear and tear on that one. Dude, I don't know if you saw that's, it. That's been there around the wear point. and tear. He's taken that out a few times. 
Wow. He's had to explain a like, lot of situations. Do you guys feel like he was projecting when he made that scene? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> there has to be something going on in the writer's room. Like whoever had like I'm gonna spit up my copy. <laughs> was writing that was like we got to spread awareness about this law. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God. Who I'm dating. Like, like, I know writers subtly put their own, you know, like feelings and thoughts about things. Like, they know, are. James it Cameron, wasn't subtle. Justin Roiland. <laughs> I'm just saying. James Cameron and whole, you know, world conservation efforts. It's great. Who of the three wrote that? You was it a collection? You think three people wrote that movie? There was more. There Actually, that was the first AI generated movie yep. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be el muerto cameron are you actually being serious was that aig no 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 we live in a scary time james i almost believed it oh my god okay. god no it was, was the age of extinction one guy. it was it was it was written by one guy usually michael bay movies has like three writers on these things that movie is so dense I, oh by the way the beats pill the beat <laughs> most the beats pill. i've never seen a product I, placement be more blatant Oh. I just looked up what else the screenwriter of Age of Extinction has done. Guess what his most recent movie he wrote was? The Amazing Spider-Man 2. What? Did you I, look it up? I, I looked it up. Colin, you're you're gonna have to really guess this. It's Morbius? Not... No. Morbius? No. Give a give a get another guess. All right. It's um, more it's more recent than that. More recent than that. Um no. Morbius came out in 21, right? right? What was the year? What was the year? You man, twenty two. Okay, it was twenty two. Was it twenty twenty two? That yeah, this movie. Okay, um, give me a hint. What genre? Action. Yeah, action. Yeah. Um, Red Notice. Wait, no, triple. No, uh, shit. No. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to guess. This will be a. It didn't podcast. go to Netflix. It didn't go to Netflix. It was a real movie. It was a real movie. Academy nominated. Yeah, it was Best Picture. Ah, oh, the Shape of Water. Colin, that did not come out in 2022. <laughs> it was Top Gun Maverick. He yeah. wrote <laughs> Shape of Water? But that's insane. Uh, How do you write Top Gun Maverick after writing Age of Extinction? Top Gun Maverick. I need to get some reps in. I gotta get a pump. Yeah, I gotta get pumping. I gotta get a pump. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, there were amazing. three writers on Maverick to be specific. And there was a, but there was no Romeo and Juliet log on that one. So there had to have been True. something sneaky about that movie. But uh, wait a second. How old is Jennifer Connolly? There's a weird age gap in there. How old is who? Jennifer Connolly. Jennifer Connolly. She doesn't okay, age. Actually, she's she's fifty two and Tom Cruise is sixty. That's okay. No, Tom I Cruise used to is work actually sixty in this in this life. He actually lived to be three hundred years old in his last life. Fun yeah, to right. be All Lord. Satan's Fun to be Lord. I used to work with Jennifer Connelly's cousin. Really? Yeah. Um, I told you about this. You, you I said where all the time. You didn't tell me this. I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Tell me this. Let me tell you it all about memory. So basically, I, I like the notification on. Uh, I like the notification on our on the screen that they were recording. It says playing music because it noticed how loud we're so, getting. So uh, Jennifer Connelly's uh, cousin Anthony. I used to. Uh, there are two Anthonys. Why don't you, um, yeah, why don't you give that as ad for us? Uh, oh, I, I mean, he wants. He want. Uh, he works. He has a comic book business. So I'm basically. Oh, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy. You well, never told me his name. Anthony. Now I know. Go. Just go. I so can... there are two Anthony's. All right. There is the Anthony that actually owned the business for Anthony's Collectibles and uh, his friend, another Shout Anthony, out to Anthony's Anthony Connolly. So I used to work with him and I was working at Walgreens and he came in and gave me a job Colin. because. Oh, what's up? Into the mic. Oh, okay. No, no, not that. No, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. Okay. So basically. <laughs> this, is, this is great. You two being in the same room is. There's too much energy in that room. <laughs> See, Colin, you messed up the. This lady don't touch the money. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This goal is really not. This is, this so is, this is the world's worst we're gonna production have value this. ever. We're gonna have to cut this. No, we're not. Oh God. This is All the right. environment I work in. My shame is gonna be living on forever. Into the mic.
my shame is going to be living on for a day. <laughs> just get on with Jennifer <laughs> Colney's cousin. Well, that's basically it. Is that I just I used to work with his cousin. There was really no bigger story other Wait, than that. Was it her cousin? Yeah. It was her or was cousin. it like her nephew? Her. Uh, the f do you mean? <laughs> that's a dumb question. I the minute I said it, I heard it. Just go on. <laughs> no, that's it. I told you that's it for a while. Okay. All right. You never told me his name. You told me you worked at a comic book sh store. I, I'm, I'm sure that like the name, like, you know. Yeah, I know you, you You met actually some, you met someone, like a comic book. Oh, guy, yeah. Right? No, I uh, I met uh, him, Sal, him Sal from Comic Pop. He stopped by at the store and uh, I uh, I helped him find uh, the Bo Art of Bones by Jeff Smith. If you remember that book from the art library. The Bones? Yeah. yeah the Bones I, I, I mean, a TikTok at uh, to be podcast at takeout.com uh about how i really wish netflix went on with that adaptation and i months sold, ago and i sold him some feet pics oh. at my only fans oh, if you are interested well cameron's not interested he's just gone what happened did we lose you yeah did, did we lose you with colin's feet pics my only fans that's what happened that's what gave it I, was, it's, I i had to go off screen to google it i had to google my, it. my only fans yeah just to subscribe Thank you. He's really? a real, he's a real G. Yeah. I don't like your feet. I like yours. No, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, back on some, what we would call a track. Um, Man, I... Remember when we were talked about moving? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry about we that. Talk about, we talk totally about, we talk about anything else, really. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah, it is. I'm really glad you're taking that step in there. Yes. Uh, next thing I really want to talk about. Step. Act, yeah. Next step, I really Eight. want to go into uh, a, a quick question for y'all. This is, it's either both or one, and then the second question. So who is your either favorite Decepticon or Transformer, or you can answer both, and who do you think is the best of either one? Cameron, we're going to kick it off with you. All right. My favorite Transformer is easily Starscream. What a pathetic little loser. I love everything about him. That's what my um, ex-girlfriend said about me. Wow, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But like yeah. he Starscream is so like wimpy and like, like whiny, and I love him. This is starting to hurt my feelings. <laughs> if we don't compare yourself to things. Okay, so there's that. You think that's the best one or yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, simple as that, Colin. Uh we're just doing Decepticons. Either or. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to crank out both of them. My favorite uh, uh, Autobot is easily Bumblebee because he's the only one throughout the entire movies that doesn't feel Michael Bayed, if you know what I mean. Like it just, You mean it, racist or dating a minor? <laughs> Not to himself. This, well, is, this is literally just something he, we talked about five minutes ago. He met Sam when he was a minor and uh, Sam has been inside him and riding him like Oh, you know, <laughs> oh wow! Pause. Now it's a set on Megatron. You really make it hard for me, don't you? Yes, I do. This <laughs> is the first podcast we're recording together since that's <laughs> Hey, okay, just go. Megatron for obvious reasons. Why? He belittles people. Why? Because he's a, because uh, he was called a bitch in the third movie, and I and, is he really? And that and that motivated him to like uh, help Optimus, and then Optimus just yeeted him. Okay, <laughs> he's dead. All right, uh, and for for me, my favorite Transformer Aut Aut Autobot uh, is Optimus Prime. May go a little on handed, but I I just really like the things he's got. Like he's got the cannons, got the blades. It's pretty sick. Best Decepticon specifically. The version from the TV show and the Bumblebee movie, Soundwave. Not the one that, that happened in Michael Bay. That one was trash. Soundwave is my favorite. And it, I could have been broad about this. I thought it was just specifically Michael Bay stuff. I just said Transformer, buddy. Did you not read the text? It said it doesn't have to be the movies. It's just physical beings. Scott you could have done a GoBot if you wanted to. If Scott, you wanted. Scott Pilgrim versus the World reference. I skimmed it. Yeah, I know you do. I know. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thank, uh, you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. I, I got that, it. What happened, Cameron? You okay, bud? Dino Land is dead. Who? Who? Dino Land is dead. Oh, D twenty three is going on right now, right? Yeah, Dino Land, because that's going to be the uh, the uh, Casa Madrigal, right? 
Dino Land Makeover. Currently, the trend is that the land would be themed to the Tropical Americas region of the globe. Okay, so we're going to be getting Encanto and uh, it's going to be like an Encanto Moana crossover place or something. Wasn't that the case? It was going to be Moana Zootopia. That's right. So now it's just Encanto? Uh, it's just like... Because that'd be cool. They can like add the bird Central show. America. And, well, I mean, they can do like the bird show that they have in Animal Kingdom. That's kind of close to it. They have all the birds going all over the place. Yeah. I don't know if you were there when, the, when those birds started having like an attack to Kevin. Were you there that day? Or was that my... I think it was my parents. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, was, that was a funny memory. You weren't there, Colin. Uh, yeah. You oh, came before my yeah, parents. Yeah, I know. You came before my parents. No, after my parents. You came after my parents. My parents came in on whatever. Yeah. Whatever. So when my parents came in from when we were working, uh, it was like October-ish. We were we went to four parks in the two days that they were there. We did a what? Test track is getting rethemed. It is. I did see that. There's a lot of stuff going on with D23, the, the Zootopia and everything. Actually, you remember Test Track? It's the one with the fast car. We had to build our car. I was bad at that. It was fine. I, I wasn't great either. I made a really crappy Lightning McQueen. I was trying to make a Batmobile, and then it kind of it fell out of my hands. Well, it's it's not perfect, but yeah, I think I have that image. I'll try and throw it up, but I definitely have my Lightning oh. McQueen. I'll I'll put here. Tough what? to be a bug is gonna die. That's fine, Cameron. And it's gonna be a Zootopia show. That's fine too. Tough to be a bug. We, you told me to skip. And I didn't listen. I told you to, we were going to skip it and you listened. Bad idea. It was a horrible, I, 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 I'll try and find it on my Instagram archives. The, I posted before and after. I felt attacked. That thing, <laughs> it attacks you. Like I have major arachnophobia. I hate spiders. I told you that was, it, it's the worst. <laughs> I, I maybe should never tell you that, but I hate spiders. Like I genuinely, I, I hate spiders. Yeah. And I, I really thought, okay, maybe Cameron's just being funny because you know, over exaggeration is kind of our, our, our thing. Uh, he was pretty accurate because there's a scene. And by the way, this is a major spoiler, but it's dying. Go see it if you're there now. It's it's Bugs Life themed. You're in the giant tree. And uh, it's like Flick doing a talent show for the different bugs. And the Hopper comes in out of nowhere, like busts through the wall. It's a really cool animatronic. But he's like, I brought some friends with me. Whatever he says. And spiders, the size of like the chair we're sitting on, drops from the ceiling and when i looked up to see if there was one over me it dropped like maybe five feet away from my face but i felt like it was gonna get me and i i slumped down into my chair and fell to the ground like <laughs> freaked out and maybe all 20 of us out of like 200 seats or something we're all in there screaming kids were losing their mind like cameron quoted it is a trap it's terrible. It sounds like a trip. It's all, genuinely like, traumatized me as a child. Like the first time I went to Animal Kingdom since I was like a little kid, Cameron and I we were walking around and I go, Well, what's this? It's you know, Bugs Life, it's kind of cool. He stops me. His face goes white. He goes, It's a trap. <laughs> Do not go. Ever. I'm like, like, Oh, it's okay. a 10 minute wait. It wasn't even that. And it's, by the way, like a half a mile hike to get to the place yeah, anyways. Yeah. The line is so long. It's like you, you start from like the outside of the tree because the tree is like in the middle of the park. You have to walk like in circles to get to that thing. It is, it's like long. A, like a hike. To it is. To and the luckily thing. there was no one else in line. I pretty much got to the door, waited two minutes before they opened and then went in. If I had to wait more than two more, like two more minutes, I was walking back. There's no way I was waiting for that. I will say I do like is... the little posters that they have that were like yeah. versions of real movies. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like the Muppets one, like it was Prong for Tron and it was Pepe. Yeah, like, it was great. I love that stuff. And that and that ride is going to be take, uh, taken down, and you know, Zootop Zootopia is going to be replacing it as a ride or as like a... it's a sit down attraction. It's like three D glasses. It's like the Muppet Vision, but for but for the animals. Okay, that's the best way to put it. In Animal Kingdom, they have like spiders jumping out from the ceiling and ants running under your ass. It was yeah, it's like when they say actual, actual ones. ones. No, no. Or... So, Colin, there's like this yes. really weird thing. <laughs> we, yeah, they got real bugs. They throw it out at the beginning of every show. They said like before humans leave, bugs first, and then you you hear like the sound effect of like a large crowd of bugs, and oh, you feel I it right under your. Sound. It's like and it, oh, it's also under your butt too. It's like a wave effect for the seats. It was gross. I remember I when I had a bug in my butt. <laughs> butt bug I, I can't find a transition to michael bay we're done with michael bay and you're you're done with your word counts you hit your max
<laughs> you're on a word timeout for the day. Uh, so <laughs> just to get on with everything else, do we I got to the trigger now. No, okay. So uh, I do want to kind of talk about this briefly before the, the video games go on strikes, and hopefully when this episode comes out, they're not on strike yet, so I don't have to cut this out. Uh, Bethesda has an update on their Indiana Jones video game. Didn't know that Bethesda was even making an Indiana Jones video Me game either. to begin with. And I hope it's not like the Lego Indiana Jones where you play through these different adventures, but it'd be kind of cool to be both archaeologist and adventurer. Like, you know, where you got to go to these different places and try and find the artifacts, read the maps, go through all these different traps and everything. Like, Uncharted? Kind of, but that, yeah, but, I was thinking, but, yeah. but 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 it's more like a like a Skyrim kind of level thing where it's like you it's have to read world, kind of. Where it's the globe. Yeah, but like video games aren't gonna allow you to explore the globe. Have you not heard of Starfield? Where well, you yeah. can travel. Starfield planets? uses reuse assets. I'm just saying, like they can do this thing, and you don't have to travel by boat. You just go like, hey, let's go fly to Peru. You got to go to an airport. You got to pay money from the game to the airport and they do that transition thing where like and then you have like the map thing and then dang you're in peru yeah what now no i'm just I'm okay just, i'm just well thinking. i didn't know that this is even being made cameron That's game changing to go to the airport in a video game to pay for a flight have you played animal crossing no that's a thing you can do I that sounds lame. It's really fun. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of my apples there. Yeah, I was the at the airport the other day. I had a blast. I was on the f-ing layover for forty minutes. Not even forty minutes. Times two. I watched in I th- Spider Man three. I watched Spider Man three while I was not even on the f-ing air. Well, that, that didn't make any sense. Cameron, what do you think about the game? Uh, I am sad because it's going to be Xbox exclusive. Hmm. Uh. Really? Oh yeah. Um. Uh. Microsoft bought Bethesda. Oh, and they did. That, you know, the oh, Xbox did. exclusive. That's, That's why Starfield is exclusive. Um, That's an Xbox. I thought that was open game. No. Nope. No. Because Bethesda. This is why I don't buy consoles. I just buy a Switch. You. That's a console. Well, like That's consoles console. like that. There's no such thing as Switch original. Like uh, only. Oh no. There's, yeah, there there's is. Mario. There is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot Mario is a big <laughs> Yes, it is. It's the poster child. <laughs> Almost is there any listeners still it's, it's here? It's exclusive. How do you Sorry. like your content? This is fantastic. This, is, this, this, this might be our most diverging episode yet. This might have to replace another episode. Uh, so, you know what this is actually this this is this works spiritually because this is like a michael bay thing well, <laughs> like michael bay movie, and now he's <laughs> all over the place yeah. okay so uh, uh, laminated card camera it does sound chance. cool it looks like uh it's being made by like the part of uh bethesda that is making it. it's the same team that made the wolfenstein game okay yeah no that's cool that's never cool. actually played wolfenstein so they, they already great. have experience with <laughs> nazis um uh <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. That that's a very. I, I know Wolfenstein never played it. Though. You do some brutal stuff to Nazis and their dogs. Is that the one where you have to like you meet Hitler and you have to try and con- convince him you're an actor? Okay. Is it? Is that Wolfenstein? I think that's the second one. Well, that's that's, that's just that franchise. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, uh, sounds cool. Uh, as long as we're talking about video games. Baldur's Gate 3, man. Holy I was just going to get to, yeah. yeah. Bull- so, so good. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, which is like digital D&D. Give us it, your... Re- Are you playing it now, actually? Uh, I do have it on in the background. I have... I got it as of nine minutes ago, a week ago. And I have put wow. 55 hours into it. Oh, my God. It is... It's probably me with Fortnite right now. I've been playing a lot of that. We've been playing a lot of that. It's so good. Yeah. It looks like a really fun game. Are you going to get your new girlfriend into it? Well, hold on. Do you you want to rush? I doubt it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, hey, don't be so sure. Because when I was dating my current girlfriend, it took her two years of dating to her for even watch a star wars movie so much so that on our spring break i took her out to california with me uh to go see my family and everything and we went to disneyland took her to batu she's in there for five minutes and she goes hey get this came back home whenever time later and we watched the movies bigger bigger star wars fan than me now 
And, <laughs> uh, and, and over about maybe the last two weeks, she's been surprising me more and more with like her resistance to content that I think she would like. So she, she isn't a big movie person. She doesn't like sitting down for movies all the time. Like the three of us do. That's kind of like our church. She'd rather be doing things like hanging out. But the thing, it's just, it's like, it's all lot. But I'm just Love you, mate. Just, 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 no, I'm course. just kidding. But I get it. I really do. But she was like, I really want to watch a movie this week. And I go, say no more. So what we did is we watched, last week we watched The Menu. And immediately afterwards watched. Did Nathan, she like it? Loved it. Good. Immediately after we binge watched all of season one of Nathan Fielder's The Rehearsal. Which if you haven't seen, I so finished good. it. It's so, dude. She said she gets, so we we. It was on Labor Day. We watched it. So that next day, she had to go into class for her psychology class, and she goes, "I got to show my professor <laughs> this because this is, this whole thing is a psychological meltdown." Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it, it go yeah. watch it. So good. And then the week before, I'm trying to remember what we watched. Oh, we watched it's Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. That, oh, so good. And by the way, you commented on my review on Letterbox. I don't mean everyone acting is terrible. They are no, fantastic I'm... actors. The characters they portray are the worst human beings I've ever met. Were you satisfied met... when some of them were dying? No, I don't really get that satisfied. But it was I, good. I, Me neither. I, didn't, I, I also didn't mean, I didn't mean that. I meant like your rating was too low. I know. I what thought... did I put again? I think I think I edited. It. I you never. Like... I, I do it on my on my phone sometimes while three and a half. Movie. Okay, I meant to do four and a half. Ah, so I but, either fixed yeah. it or I forgot to fix it. I'm gonna fantastic movie really good movie and i i in the whole time my girlfriend's watching it she goes okay she did it and then the person would die and be like okay never mind they did it and be like and then the ending the ending it's <laughs> you've seen body body but no no oh we gotta watch that yep I, i'd like oh, to okay. i like pete davidson i really hope you do you uh, should watch that yeah. you really should watch the movie then okay i can't i can't because I, I can't that. like my resistance from watching it in the get-go was because of i've seen the prom, the promo material of it and it just seemed like no but i will say generation of annoying snob yeah but, that, that, that's, but the that's, that's the point that is exactly I, the point. I know i know it's the point but also there's that like you know ptsd of like me working at a place no. where i serve those kind of people and i feel like it. it's gonna be a little bit I sound like a psychopath. I feel like it's going to be a little bit therapeutic to watch. Well, no, I mean, kind of like, I don't, I don't know if Cameron has this sometimes, but whenever I've rewatched the bear, I do get a little kitchen PTSD. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Because when you work in food service and now it wasn't as long as other people have gone and not as intense. I'm not complaining. Or I'm not saying we had it worse, but you do see a lot of similarities when you work in kitchen. There's a relate. There's a more of a relatability to yeah. it. I started watching the bear as we started at Food and Wine, so yeah, learning a lot of the lingo of like herd behind like, corner all day. Um, hearing that at work and then going home and hearing it in the show that I just started watching was very weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and I think after you started watching it i watched it because we were driving that's actually we did all four parts in one day is when you recommended that because i had dropped it off at the espn thing uh but wild day we got i don't know if you remember how much of hollywood studio you remember but we did tower of terror and rise of the resistance in one hour in the same yeah. hour did you have so, like fast pass no or? no fast fast Nothing. We didn't spend any money on Fast So Fast. you just lucked out. The only thing I actually spent money on was Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic V1, because I love that ride. Yeah, and I urged you to not. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to go ride it again, and I really like that ride. I didn't, spent we, like, didn't we, like, manage to, like, trick them into letting us ride it twice? No, I bought a Fast Pass, and but I got the Lightning We did that one ride. day. That was, I think, also, they know. Like, they're like, come on. You know, flash that blue card you get it for free you know what i'm saying yeah no i want to be like oh i had right a, i had a shift i couldn't get here on time but also i mean they're really chill people if you really talk to them yeah, outside of the shift uh but uh, we wrote that it's, it, if you it, it's i missed that ride colin i missed i, I don't think it's that right too that ride was so good and like you telling me the stories of disney world just makes us makes me want to like buy i know both, like, i'm, tickets and I'm sorry to, like, go to you know hey it, don't be sorry i, I had just, a great time i get it but it's just like 
I miss I miss that ride. I don't think I understand. I really have withdrawal from that ride. Like when you ride it close to 70 times, you get withdrawal. I have that same feeling with Smirnoff, Jim Bean, Chardonnay, you know, just it's uh yeah, you go on a cosmic you go on a cosmic rewind for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You believe, either way, you're getting sick. Uh so I never got sick when I was like I had a lot of alcohol in my system while we're in Disney World. You also, had a lot, you also had a lot of power raid. That sugar was offset a lot. Strangely enough, he was kind of like my sponsor. Well, you were turning 21 that day we went, and you were my guest. I had to take care of you. It was nice. Okay, switching content to just back that. Back to Bethesda and the Baldur's Gate game. There's a lot of good video games coming out. Starfield that just came out. I've been seeing a lot of good stuff there. I, and you and I, have been playing a lot of Fortnite. I really dogged that game for a while. It's kind of fun. Like, it's sad. I spent money on it, too. I spent a lot of money. More money, actually. I bought a clone. You, you bought more. I know. I, I spent money on a clone trooper set. Not a clone trooper. A Star trooper set. No. It was a clone trooper. Clone trooper set. Got 501st, 332nd, everybody. 212th. And there was like a Marvel skin sale. Oh, yeah, there was a skin sale. And I bought Star-Lord, the Silver Surfer Surfer. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. And that came with that the Thor 11 Thunder bundle. <laughs> Just to piss you off more. I I bought the Spider Man and Venom set, and yeah. I, I I I don't know if I, I can. I was okay with it. I don't know if I can send photos to myself through Switch, but there's a photo of me as Star Lord and him as Venom riding a motorcycle, like we're in the poster of Yes Man. And I'll try. I'll try and find. We've it. been trying to get you on it just so you can. Yeah, you have to be there. It's also. I I, I do need to hop on. With no, this. you need to hop on, but never play with this man. Because you know why? I'm never forgiving you for this. This didn't happen once, but three times. I there is no shut up. So right. we're playing the game, Cameron. I need your full attention on this. Because sit back down. Don't you go away. So we're playing the game. We're like there's like ten people standing. We're playing do duo. So there's you know there's twenty people total. Ten people standing. We're getting loot. I'm wrapping up stuff. I'm trying to get health again. A team comes in out of nowhere and starts killing me. I'll go, Colin, they're at this point. Let's do it. So wait, this was no, no, no. Was this in the city? Because this was, it happened twice. This is I don't remember exactly where, but I know exactly why. Were you in the storm? I was not in the storm. So okay, that was the first. So I'm not saying an order, but so then he comes in, he picks me up because in the new update you could pick up your friend, run, and then go revive him or something. Yeah. What he does. Oh, I've, ne I've never been more mad in my life. You'll have to get my perspective. Shut up. Yeah, after this, you have to get my No, perspective. there's no perspective other than just you're a horrible friend. You biased He f***ed me up. And I go, okay. And he starts turning around towards the people. I'm like, what's going on? He throws me at them. And as, as my body's flying, I I'm riddled. Shut up. I I'm riddled. Distraction. Yeah, he screams distraction. As I'm being thrown, I'm riddled with bullets. I am a human <laughs> shield. And he runs. <laughs> he runs. I was trying to save myself so that later I could grab your tail. No. You were a dead man. I know. And then he gets himself killed by like falling or something. <laughs> Like fall damage takes him out of the game. I originally pick him up because I'm like, I'm never going to leave a man behind. And I wanted to be a good friend. I was getting shot at at sorts of places. And but I'm, jump! I, not, not while I'm holding you. And so I had to throw him at him just so I could save myself. And, until I could help him. I actually left the room. I left the room when it happened. And and also one disadvantage. Around before that though, I, I was panicking as I was trying to like get some stuff. I panicked. And I thought I threw what was a grenade. I was down. I was he was down, he was spectating me. I thought what I threw was a grenade. It was a med pack. He at, threw the med pack at a fing enemy. I threw three med packs at this person thinking it was a grenade. So I just kind of bounced off. And I'm <laughs> screaming in the microphone, don't help him. Just get shot in with a shot. Yeah. So no, and there was another time too. I was down again. There's also a there's kind of like a theme of me being down. Um, yeah, I've had to revive him like six times in a game. I wasn't proud of it. And also, by the way, I feel like, you know, it looks better on me that I don't have that much Fortnite skills, you know, opposed to this guy. And so I was down. It was like five minutes, in, like not even five minutes, oh, two minutes into yeah. the match. And we're in that like that mine area. Mine. Uh, you'll you'll remember when I finish the story. And so I'm down. I'm spectating him. And he goes, oh, what's this? Because you know how 
<laughs> there's 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 items in Fortnite where if you throw it on the ground, it's like a big splash and you get all sorts of help. No, no. He throws no, no, no. this jar. It looks a lot. I know. I, I know, but that's not why. That's not why he threw it though. He what you throw it. So I so he, he's right. There was this jar that I had and I threw. And the jar was the fireflies, which means if you throw it at a person, they attack you. So I thought, okay, cool. I throw them. I'm gonna have a swarm around me. They're not gonna hurt me because I freed them. Nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had six jars. I threw all six. I died in maybe two seconds. I'm screaming, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm like, I'm saving me. <laughs> You're dying. I definitely need to hop on with y'all. I don't think you understand the silence that was in our chat. It was it was deafening. Uh, so that was that. Yeah, yeah, the other one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I uh, I used to play Minecraft with my best friend. Nice. Uh, we we got onto this server that already had like a pretty pre-established group of people going, hmm. and I uh, I I got on there not exactly with the best intentions and. Uh, naturally killed a guy and took his diamond sword and then like logged off and i had no intention of ever coming back to the server anyway my best friend tells me to hop back onto the server and i'm like okay so i'm trying to avoid this other group who is trying to kill me to get the sword back which is understandable i did a bad revenge so i meet up with my server into the mind True. And then my, if my buddy kills me and takes the sword and gives it back. I get it's so brute. I know, right? Get that? It's a pun. I, I that's like the I, end of the friendship. I yeah. walk all the way across the neighborhood to go knock on his door and be like, "What the f- man?" Anyway. Uh. Managed to to mend things over with the guys who I stole a sword, and that became like my main server that I played on for a couple years. Dang! Wow. I I tried playing a server once with my friends. We didn't talk at the end of it. I haven't seen them <laughs> in years because we all were robbing each other. It was like you have me. Yeah, you have me. You know, we're not playing. My we're not playing. Up. We're not playing Minecraft. Anymore. I have my hand up I tried playing time. Minecraft with my girlfriend's younger brother. We didn't talk for a while afterwards. You're, you're weird, ignoring you know, my affection. Oh. Yeah. That's all I needed. So the next notes, I do want to uh, have you guys guess these uh, characters' favorite movies. So I uh, I found this and uh, I can't now find it because I don't have the app on my phone. Let me try and find this uh, real quick. So there are two actors that recently came out and uh, his favorite movies... And this person's favorite movies are wild. So, Helen Mirren and and uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, not the same time, different times. Both have come out with their favorite movies. Can you guess their favorite movies? Vincent D'Onofrio has two. Helen Mirren has one. And I'm telling you right now, they are not what you think for either one. So, Cameron. Is Helen is Mirren one of the Fast and Furious movies? Okay, Helen, you think Helen Mirren is one of the Fast and Furious movies? Yes. Okay, what about Vincent D'Onofrio's? Mm, he loves the Paw Patrol movie. There's two of them. There's two movies that he has. Both of the Paw Patrol movies, okay. including the one that hasn't come out yet. That's the third one. Go on. Okay. Oh, that's the third one? Yeah. Oh, I only know that because my nephew likes Paw, Paw Patrol. I haven't seen them. Helen Mirren, um, the Smosh movie. <laughs> Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah. The Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. And he has two. Paw Patrol. Oh my God. Okay. You guys suck at this. Vincent D'Onofrio's two favorite movies are John Wick and Paddington 2. Two wildly. And Helen Mirren's favorite movie is Dodgeball, an underdog story. Incredible. You know, <laughs> I found that out and was like, stop the press. There's no way Helen Mirren, respected, beautiful Helen Mirren, dodgeball. 
never would have guessed. You know, I, I was indecisive with Vincent D'Onofrio's because I was in Paw I, b- between Paw Patrol and Air Buddies. <laughs> Air Buddies. Okay, uh, so there's that. Really, I thought there'd be a little more uh, guessing here. You guys are really bad with trivia. I, no, because you said, it. like, movies that I wouldn't have guessed. And... Well, it's like, would you really have guessed John Wick and Paddington 2 and then Dodgeball? I mean, I would have probably guessed John Wick because uh, with Cameron, when he was talking about franchises, I'm like, well, I would probably have to lean towards like franchise movies, but... Um... That's true. Okay. Uh, and... Hold on. Pause the presses! No, hold on. Just a little technical difficulty. So, a uh, quick little thing uh, before uh, we wrap everything up. Uh, there is something I do want to talk about that we talked about a few weeks ago, and that is I'm in Volani's uh, Ms. Marvel comic. Okay. We really were not sure about when it was going to be coming out, but as of last week, because we're recording this a little late, is it out? It's out. Okay. It is out and about. I don't know if it's digital now. It is physical. Like, physical copies are out now. I have a way of, like, finding it. I know. Uh, but her comic is out. She really went into detail over what she was, like, going through when she was coming up with the idea. She was, like, listening to Billy Joel. It's like about like ideas and everything. So like a lot of it came from like personal inspiration and the, the illustrator and everything. There was like a big interview with Marvel that that she had about the comic. And I think that's fantastic. And like you said, it's been a while since we've had an actor who played the character, both play the character and write it's about rare. Very rare. rare. But the last time it yeah. happened was Paul Dano. Paul for Dano. The joke for the not Joker, the Riddler. That wasn't a movie. It came out two years ago, didn't it? No, it, it, it within the year. I believe. No, the when, movie the movie came out. Oh 21, right? Uh 2021, yeah. So, which is, by the way... 2022. I don't know. Last think, year. Last year. I know it was last year. Still wild, if that's Wait, the Was case. it this year? No, it was not this. Batman did not come out this year. I know. Cameron, when did Batman come out? Last year. Last year? Was it wasn't 2021? Oh, Batman? Oh, it was the 2022. Batman. I think it got delayed because it was, like, also it, shooting during COVID. Right? It was yeah, supposed maybe. to come out during uh, 2021 in October, but then they delayed it, I believe, because of COVID. Look at that. I'm good at my job. You're Cameron and you both. Uh, and before... Oh, you too. You, I know. Too. you too, Cameron. Yeah. You just, yeah. Uh, and before we kind of... Oh, this will officially wrap it up. WGA updates. Kind of like doing these whenever we can. So uh, over 80% of Disney's in-house VFX members have officially signed their desire to unionize. And the vote went through. Good. As well as, like I said earlier, the video game industry is deciding to go on vote. On vote. Uh, and on strike. The Good. official statement hasn't come out if, they're, if they are officially on strike. Um, and on top of that, the whole Phil Lord, Chris Miller's work environment for Across the Spider-Verse, they had a comment about that. They said, we really appreciate all the effort our animators went through. We realized there was a lot of pressure on this, and we're really happy with what we, what we got, and we really appreciate their efforts. Dodging the apology, which I'm assuming they're doing, hopefully soon. Because that's like, I, in their defense, uh, there's no, I, it's such a complicated uh, situation, but I think like with Phil and Chris, I mean, they didn't, they, they weren't the entire, I don't think they were the, in, like the decision makers of like forcing these animators to work because there's definitely like, because Phil and Chris Lord kind of, kind of they weren't really? the, they were the directors. I don't want to believe that. I mean, I know it's probably, I don't think you were the directors. They were not the directors. They were, no, they, no, there they were three directors. There were, but they were the producers, I believe. They wrote it and they kept rewriting. Yeah. So I, as much as you don't want to believe it, and as much as I don't want to believe it, it does happen. Yeah. And especially with Disney. Seth that, Rogen actually did that. With they were Sausage also Party. producers. Producers is the main thing. Yes. But Seth Rogen did something really different for the Ninja Turtles movie. And he said, we'll get it done when we can get it done. And he didn't push the animators through hell. Like a lot of the most recent ones have. Also, by the way, when I said Seth Rogen did that with Sausage Party, I'm not saying like because there was like backstory with like Sausage Party and like you know the animators had to sleep under their desks for it. I'm just really? saying, yeah, no, like, like the, the there was like production hell going through that. Sausage Party, but I'm not saying Seth Rogen was responsible for no, it. I'm just saying it's interesting. The I just feel like that was going to get me in trouble. No, I feel like it's it the uh, the the differences in the, in these both amazing movies. Across the Spider Verse is fantastic, yeah. and Ninja Turtles. If you haven't seen it, it's fantastic. Amazing. You recently saw it. I did. Uh, they're both great. And what is that? Good time. It's yeah, a good time. They're, they're both super super fun. I recommend it to anybody. But it's it is weird to see animators be put through hell like that and not get the respected credit that they deserve. Yeah, like it's not just something for kids. Like Guillermo del Toro's quote about it not being for kids but a medium for art is my favorite quote. Yeah. 
And I think animation and just that VFX area gets underappreciated. So we here at Tuvi want to say thank you. Thank you, animators. Thank you, VFX artists. And especially people like Corridor Crew who take time to go look at those things and go into detail. If you haven't seen a Corridor Crew video, it's like 20, 16 minutes long maybe, but they say like 1,500 processes they have to go through to take 15 they need to days. stop doing those dumb AI videos, I should say. They're Ooh. ugly and they suck. Who? Corridor Crew? Corridor. Corridor Digital. When do they, they do an AI video? Just go on their main channel. They've been making like these AI animated videos and they Is suck. it one of those like we have to see it to understand it? It seems like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I do like their breakdown videos. Those are fun. The breakdown videos are very cool, but yeah, their main channel where they're like making it. It sucks. Okay. <laughs> I get, no, I, I totally get that. Huh. Um, but uh, back to your point about like those animators, like, you know, I mean, the animators, like they, after like the first Spider-Verse movie, like they've been, right, sure. they, 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 I mean, what about the, across? Now they have to do the thing for beyond. Yeah. Like it, I, I just, I'm really, I'm, I'm really grateful that we just have two solid Spider-Man movies are, that, that like are awesome. peak and they're animated and they're they're, gorgeous. they're so good. They're, 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 I will never not get chills watching across the Spider-Verse, especially when, I mean, even with Gwen's opening. When she jumps through the window. Gorgeous. Or even the scene where they're in uh, Mobatan and they have that one shot of uh, Spider-Punk, uh, Miles, Gwen, and Pravitcher all just flying towards the bridge. It's like, it's pretty so rare. good. I hope so beyond, I, I hope that, I hope they uh, get back a lot of the uh, original animators for those Spider-Verse movies back. and they get like, you know, fair. I'm sure like quite a few of them actually just want to like be done a lot of the entire like yeah, I know, I, know, I know, but they, there's a possibility of them wanting to come back. But, yeah. you know, uh, if if the uh, uh, environment and everything like that is still like, you know, it, it's where they need to be. But I hope that, you know, they get what they want in order for them to come back. And because there's a lot of like people, a lot of cooks in that ki kitchen that, yeah. you know, helped create movies that you and I will be talking about for years. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, that about have to be roll credits on season two, episode nineteen of the TV podcast. Cameron had to bounce out; uh, he had responsibilities, and we don't want to hold him back from that. But thank you guys again for watching. If you guys uh, like this podcast, be sure to follow us on whatever podcast platform you're listening either Apple Podcast. You're gonna be you're done. You're done interrupting. I clearly uh -huh. wrote you, dick. Have you never heard a podcast? You don't do that in the mic. It's the first rule of podcast. That's the second rule, actually. First rule: you never eat on a podcast. While I'm interrupting you. Cool. Um, could you guys let me know how like my tan line is? Because my brother said it was horrible, but I think Tom, this is not the quality to do it. You, we both look pale in the video here. It's most likely the lighting, buddy. But like I said, be sure to check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere else you get podcasts. We are also on TikTok and Instagram at Podcasts. Uh, be sure to check us out on the link tree that we have in the description. It has every single link to our platforms. Con is what's that thing in Harry Potter when they're. Through the, they're petrified? Frozen. petrified yeah i only saw four of them dude first four that's enough no actually no I, it, I like harry potter i'm not a, i just never I, I got tired of always hearing about his dead so we talked about it. yeah yeah we did you're the worst i know this is why i record it it's exclusively when i'm dead you're gonna miss me absolutely but uh not much of a harry potter fan by the way just I, I mean as much as you are as much as i'm not a harry potter fan you're not lord of the rings so i like lord of the rings too i thought you never watched them no i watched it i, I watched the i watched the the originals like oh, i just don't remember them but like the hobbit ones are my most recent like watch for the lord of the rings i don't think that they're like the hobbits are as bad as everyone makes it seem yeah i like the second one i like the one, hobbits though. they're just very long yeah, I like Desolation Smog, though. The dragon one. Yeah, That's Benedict one. Cumberbatch. He is so good. All right, but that'll have to be real credits again. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Love you.